In this video, I'm going to do a short comparison of the A-Liner and Rockwood A-Frame Campers exteriors and give you my thoughts on which one to buy. As you might have seen in my previous video, the pros and cons of owning an A-Frame Camper, I go into greater detail about my Rockwood A122 model. The link is at the end of this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. I'll even give you a few seconds to do it right now. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video where I give you my reasons why you shouldn't buy one of these brands. So I'm just going to do a comparison here of the Rockwood A122S series of A-frame campers. Uh, this one is obviously very dirty. This one's mine. I just uh, got off the Alaska Highway and the, the Klondike Highway. So pretty dirty. Lots of construction going on. So that's why it's a little on the filthy side. But let me just show you here the differences between this one and the A-liner right next to it uh, here in the uh, Dawson City Campground right downtown. This one here, this is a 19 foot and it has the storage compartment in the front and typical design of the A-frame, roof goes up, gable ends come out and uh, forms a nice hard shell all the way around. A-liner, very similar in design. I believe A-liner was sort of the original manufacturer of these uh, A-frame campers and uh, they've done a nice job on this. They've built, I think, a little bit better. The engineering on these is a little bit better. I'll have a chance to go into this one a little bit later on. We've met these folks, super nice folks, and uh, I believe they're going to let us uh, in to have a, a look at it. No front storage compartment. Instead, they've got a, a rack in the front. There is a A122 model or a Forest River or Rockwood model that has this in the front as well. You can actually get a quad that will fit on this thing. Some of these are much larger. This is a smaller one. Even though it says off-road on it, I'm not sure exactly what the off-road package is necessarily on this. This one definitely similar in design. It has uh, the lift. Uh, it has larger tires on it. This one doesn't have sort of the knobby tires on it, but it is lifted for sure. Let's have a look at the back of the A-liner. I like the uh, sort of the rock protection here of the, of the diamond plate a metal on that. This does not have that. That is just a, a plastic kind of the composite material on there and so it's subjected to more abuse. There is the diamond plating uh, on the bottom here. There is not on that one. So again a difference. Uh, this one's a little bit shorter. One thing that I noticed that is a real big difference, uh, a real uh, sore point on the A122 model is these leaky roofs and uh, you can see that I've got tape on here uh, It's got the die core self-leveling stuff on here. Even with all this stuff on it. It still leaks Because of these stress fractures that are created by the screws that were put in here the holes that were drilled in and That creates these little stress fractures and they sort of tend to run up into these cheap kind of bubble windows that are on these units. This particular one here has a similar design in that this is the same kind of thickness, but they don't use the screws on here. Instead, it's just a single sheet of plastic, I think, that's bonded on here, and then it's cocked on the edges as well. Very similar kind of design with the metal frame and the cocking on both. But again, over time, I'm sure that these will actually leak. So this needs to be recocked at some point in time as well. I'm just looking at the roof lines here, very similar. This like has like a, a bungee system at the top here, which probably has something to do with the roof lifting system. I'm not sure exactly. Um, but as far as attachment points for adding tarps and things like that, uh, this doesn't seem to have any, neither does that one there. Uh, spare tire mounted in a similar kind of fashion. This has more of a, a noticeable bumper on it. They've got like an air conditioning unit in this one here, which I think they've added themselves. Kind of a different door design, kind of rounded at the top, whereas the A122S does not have that. Just a single step on this one, whereas the Rockwood has a double one. I think this hinge design could be a little different. And for sure, this is a lot beefier design of the hinge system in here. So the, the other one, the Rockwood flexes, 
this would probably not flex. I see this is nice and straight in here. The one in uh, mine uh, definitely has a flex to it. This just looks like it's built a whole lot better. Um, even notice here this diamond plate all the way up the front, whereas on the Rockwood model it's only halfway up. This has a fairly large tongue on it here, and the um, propane tanks uh, look to be the two 20-pound tanks, but this is a, um, uh, a, um, a material bag as opposed to the plastic cover. Uh, some storage in here for tools and gas and things like that. So kind of a nice little unit. I like this a little bit more compact than the than the Rockwood is for sure. And I like these levelers here as well. These are a lot nicer than the screw out jacks. These are a lot more secure in my opinion. They're uh, definitely a nicer unit uh, to have for leveling. A very rugged looking unit actually. I like the uh, the levels on here that are built in. Very solid looking little unit. Kind of wish I bought this one instead. <laughs> so uh, let's have a look again, a look at the, the rock wood in the front in comparison. You can see the propane tank covers here are made out of plastic and jostle around quite a bit. But uh, the real bonus to this is that big storage unit up front. I mean, you can put a whole lot of stuff in there. And in this one here, we've got the two 6-volt batteries as opposed to the single 12, which is on this one here. I suppose you probably could add somehow two 6s to this one, but it looks like tight space in there. But uh, overall, they look kind of similar. But this unit is definitely built a whole lot better than this one, I can tell you that. And I haven't even seen the inside of the A-liner yet. We'll have a look at it later. And uh, we'll just compare the two on the inside. So, just a little comparison between Rockwood and the A-liner. On the side of the A-liner, you can see there is an outdoor shower here. Similar to the Rockwood. And then the two fridge uh, grills here. There's for the stove, the vent for that. Your electrical is there, city water in, and this is for filling the uh, fresh water tank, and then there is the furnace in there on the Rockwood model. This is the cover. I've added this cover on here. This is for the Dometic heat pump. And I've got the cover on here just to keep the dust and dirt out of it from the, the roads. And we've got the, the drain from the sink. There is the city water in. This is for a TV antenna. City water connection going in, outdoor shower, and this is also for the fridge. Now, I've lost one of these covers. And it's actually not a bad thing that I put this plastic vent or the plastic cover on here because it keeps out a lot of the dust and the dirt from the road, but it also prevents the pilot light, which is down in here, from actually blowing out. And it tends to do that a fair bit. I'm gonna just turn my fridge down just a tiny little bit. It's a little too cold. But I've lost this one cover. I forgot to turn these screws one day when I had this on, and it just blew off on the highway. And uh, so this one is, the fridge is running all the time when I am driving and this cover being on here all the time makes a huge difference because if it's not if this thing is down here what happens is the wind gets underneath these vents in here and it tends to blow the pilot light out so this cover I just put on here this is just a velcro I've just added some velcro on here and made this sort of custom cover out of this material you can use any kind of plastic material this is uh Oh, it's like that sign material. I forget the name of that. Um, and again, this is for your furnace. This is a, an outdoor hose that you can pull out. And it's a pressurized hose. Never used it before. And then your, your electrical in. This here is for your hot water tank. And that's just a cover on there. And then the rest is storage as well. So a little more stuff on the outside here compared to the A-liner, but it is a larger unit, and uh, 
again, another comparison between the A-liner and the Rockwood. Another point of interest between the A-liner and the Rockwood is, now this, this particular unit is slightly smaller, so it doesn't have any gas assist shocks on the side here to help you lift the roof. This roof looks to be a little bit smaller than the Rockwood model, but I'll show you the, the gas assist shocks and how one of them is actually ripped out of my particular unit. So you can see there's no gas assist shocks anywhere on the sides here. There's none on the front of this one, but on the back side here is see there's one gas assist shock right over here. And this other one just decided to rip out. <coughs> and I still got it, but they're just attached by some cheap little screws on there straight into the side material instead of having a, a metal plate with some bolts in it. So that's uh, an issue that Rockwood or Forest River that owns Rockwood or makes Rockwood trailers, they need to obviously address that. That's a real concern. So These gas assist shocks will certainly help when you raise this roof. It is considerably heavier than the A-liner is. And just another interesting difference between these two units. And it's so interesting to see these two side by side. Coincidentally, this unit pulled in right after us. And there's one campground here in Dawson. Not something you would normally see together side by side. So really interesting that uh, this unit was parked next to mine so that I can do this comparison. Pretty cool. As you can see, there are some similarities and some differences between these two models. Based on the many comments I've received from my video, the pros and cons of owning an A-frame camper, the A-liner A-frame campers are far superior to the Rockwood line of A-frame campers in terms of construction, materials, manufacturing, and even layout options available. My experience and thoughts about the Rockwood A-frame camper is shown in great detail in that video, so be sure to watch it. In short, if you're looking to buy an A-frame camper, you are way better off avoiding the Rockwood brand, which is manufactured by Forest River. They are built the cheapest and do not have the same longevity as the A-liner brand. Believe me, I've seen it firsthand. The one that I have is absolute junk. If I would have known about the A-liner prior to buying the Rockwood, I definitely would have bought the A-liner instead. Thanks for watching.